Several families who were suing the state of Texas for being unable to obtain birth certificates for their U.S. born children are now withdrawing from that lawsuit. CBS 4's Ashley Custer tells us why. Back in May, several immigrant families filed a lawsuit against the Texas Department of State Health Services for being unable to obtain birth certificates for their U.S. born children. More and more people started coming out. And then it grew to 17 families and to 25 families. We're currently at 27 adults and 30 children are plaintiffs in the lawsuit. But we have more and more people coming into us, uh, telling us that they are having the same problems, they are turned away. Efren Olivares is one of several attorneys representing the families. Earlier this week, nine of those families have filed to withdraw from the ongoing lawsuit. Some of the families have been able to get uh, birth certificates because of extraordinary measures, and some of, that, of those measures I can get into because they're confidential at this point. But the, the problem very much persists. CBS 4 News also reached out to the Texas Department of State Health Services and a representative told us that the lawsuit is still pending and that nothing has changed. In order to obtain a birth certificate, a valid form of ID is still required. The forms of ID that they take are very limited and are not available to parents who are undocumented. That's the crux of, of the lawsuit. And the documents that they can get, such as a Mexican passport or a Mexican consular ID, they won't take, even though those are official documents. Olivares says while the majority of families coming forward are from the Rio Grande Valley, the issue is widespread, adding that the lawsuit is ongoing and they're currently in the discovery process. Because of, of the factual nature of the, of the case, it, it, it'll take time to put together and be ready to file, but, but we are confident that eventually, I mean, these children are undisputably U.S. citizens, so eventually they will have to get their birth certificate. Ashley Custer, CBS4 News and ValleyCentral.com. The next hearing date has not been set, but the trial is expected to start late next year.